The Barbie movie is here. Well, Barbenheimer, as cinemas are getting packed out around the globe as Gerwig took on Nolan in a battle that none of us truly expected to happen in 2023. Titled Woke by Some, An Enjoyable Ride by Others, I was intrigued to see where I'd sit on this movie. I went into it not expecting that much, other than an easy two hours where I could kick back and relax and enjoy my medium-sized drink. And well, I did enjoy that drink, but did I enjoy the movie? Well, let's break down everything that there was to take away from it, explain the ending that felt like it was never going to come, and I'll tell you what I thought. So let's get into it. Here is Barbie ending explained and review. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. If you enjoy the video, then feel free to hit subscribe. Thanks. The ending. This whole movie felt like it was about breaking away from the patriarchy and how toxic masculinity is something that once eyes had been laid upon it for the first time, it was almost infectious and like a disease. Well, at least that's what Ken thought. With him being a relatively two-dimensional individual to begin with, with no purpose whatsoever, we saw that after breaking through the portal into the real world along with Barbie, and seeing how unlike in Barbie Land, where women were the leaders and had all of the good jobs, in the real world it was reversed, and he liked the look of it. Hence why when Barbie returned to Barbie Land, it was drastically different to when she left it, as all of the Kens had essentially turned into bros, and wanted to do nothing more than have their beers, party, and do things that made them act like arrogant individuals. All of the Barbies were under some kind of mind control where they became susceptible to essentially waiting on the Kens, and losing all of the talent and skills that they once had. With Barbie going into the real world, it essentially made her mind not fall victim to the grasp that all of the other Barbies had over them. As the stereotypical Barbie, she was the one that was made in the perfect image, and with that came the change of mindset that she had after visiting the real world. She was experiencing the feelings that Gloria was penning down on paper after she got out the Barbie dolls that she used to play with her daughter Sasha, and this ultimately meant that stereotypical Barbie started experiencing adult emotions for the first time, something that she'd never experienced before, hence why she was resembling what one would describe as an ordinary person. She was fearful, anxious, and understood what it was like to be a woman in the real world, something which was confirmed by Gloria. And that was the very thing that was able to snap the other Barbies out of the spell that they were in. So after going around and snapping every single Barbie back into reality, they devised a master plan in order to get the Kens to fight one another and to be distracted from signing the constitution which would have turned Barbie Land into a Kendom. We saw the Kens ultimately get distracted and whilst they were fighting, all of the other Barbies ruled in favor of Barbie Land, obviously. And then it felt like the right place for the movie to finish, but it didn't. We had a moment with Ken where we saw that he had no sense of belonging. He viewed himself as a side piece to Barbie, and she then went on to give a speech which inspired him to go off and be his own individual, and emphasized the fact that he didn't need to rely on Barbie to be part of his own identity, a message which was inspiring to hear and was something that did alter the way that Ken was moving forward. And then it felt like the movie was going to finish at that point, but it didn't. We then had a section where the CEO of Mattel, played by Will Ferrell, was looking to change everything back to how it was at the start of the movie. But the Barbies were inspired by their new emotions and feelings that they had, which they'd never experienced before. It was a sense of empowerment and belonging, and they confirmed that they wanted Barbie Land to stay as it was. Gloria also mentioned at this point that she felt like an ordinary Barbie should be created, one which didn't put so much pressure on young girls to feel as though they needed to look perfect, have the perfect career, and also the perfect life, but instead one that showed that it was okay to just be ordinary and achieve your own personal goals. I thought that was a good message, and it was something that was definitely ingrained throughout the entirety of the movie, so it was good to see it vocalized, and then it felt like it was going to end again, but it didn't. We then had Ruth, the creator of Barbie, appear, which I don't know whether or not it was supposed to be a surprise, because when we saw her earlier on, it very much felt like she was the creator. But anyway, she appeared and spoke to stereotypical Barbie about her ending, something which Ruth mentioned that Barbie didn't have, as she was always supposed to live on forever as an idea. But Barbie no longer felt like Barbie. She didn't feel like what she did at the start of the movie, but instead she wanted to be human and live in the real world after seeing it and experiencing it. She wanted to be a creator rather than an idea, and as happy endings go, that's exactly what we saw happen. 
She became human after wanting to make a real difference in the world and finding real purpose. The movie then finished with her going to a gynecologist which was a reference to a joke that was made earlier on in the movie, and then it concluded. The ending of this movie was very much about empowerment, standing up against the patriarchy and bringing to the forefront all of the struggles that women face in many aspects of their lives. Barbie not being with Ken at the end was a metaphor for women not needing men in their lives in order to be successful or to form their identity. Barbie never wanted to be with Ken in this movie, but he always found a way to be there when she didn't want him, so it was definitely a movie about empowerment. It also shone a light on the fact that Barbie did originally have extremely negative effects on individuals about the way that they perceived themselves, kind of like how Instagram does in the modern day. But Barbie was designed to be the perfect image of a woman, which was mentioned a lot in this movie. It was a happy ending where we saw the development of stereotypical Barbie as she became human and ordinary and was far different to how she originally was in a positive way. Overall review I thought this movie was okay. For what it was, it was actually very enjoyable. The world that was created was extremely exciting to follow and to be a part of, and the light-hearted execution paired with a serious topic formed a narrative that packed a large punch without it hurting, but it landed with real impact. There were some moving moments in the movie, such as when Barbie looked at the elderly woman and said that she was beautiful, and also when Barbie was starting to experience what it felt like to be a woman in the real world. It showed the reality of society in both good and bad ways. The scene with the elderly woman was something that summed up the movie, beauty being within everybody, even if not in the image of Barbie. The opening 20 minutes of the movie is something that I feel really does hook you in. Hearing Hi Barbie and Hi Ken over and over again, if it was a drinking game, you wouldn't make it past the first 10 minutes. My only main issue with this movie is the fact that it just felt like an ending was set up and then it would move on to something else, and then something else, and then something else. Whilst they all added value to the story and it needed to be done, maybe it was just the pacing and the approach in the final few conversations that were happening. I also thought that the arc with Will Ferrell and his minions that worked at Mattel was a bit pointless. I understood the meaning of it, having a doll of a female that was essentially having its direction decided by a group of men, but it kind of got lost as the movie went on and he vanished for the most part, so that almost felt a bit shoehorned in at the end. I would say that the film did surprise me in how enjoyable it was. It had the same kind of feel as I don't know how many people will remember it, but Looney Tunes Back in Action from 2003 that kind of crossing the world between reality and fiction and blending the two together. However, the Barbie movie definitely had more of a meaning behind it. The songs that were in the movie were so well suited to the tone, and it really elevated the scenes that we were watching, especially the opening song. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling were the perfect choices for these roles, and I don't think anybody else would have done them better. With an extremely star-studded cast, they didn't overkill it by having tons of screen time. It was balanced well and everybody got their moment to shine, so I was definitely impressed with that. This is not a bad movie at all. It's enjoyable and it has a strong message at its core. It's just a fun movie that has a deeper meaning whilst providing a commentary on society and the creation and purpose of the original Barbie doll. That's it. It's pretty fun. Which order are you going to watch Barbie and Oppenheimer? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.